Yeah, good evening to you both. Police say the young man shot this morning is an innocent victim who they believe was mistaken by a group of suspects for a rival gang member. He was rushed here to Stroger Hospital, where at last check, he remained in critical condition. No one should be shot, let alone shot while standing waiting for a school bus. No father. But police say that's exactly what happened Wednesday morning in the area of 47th and Walcott. The victim, who family says is a 20-year-old man with special needs, was shot three times, including in the head. No father should see his children shot like this. According to Chicago police, the man was standing at the bus stop with his father and 15-year-old brother who also has special needs. Thankfully, neither were hurt but witnessed the unimaginable. En la mañana estábamos pues todavía durmiendo. Cuando empezó la balacera fueron más de 30 balazos. According to CPD, gunfire technology picked up at least 39 shots fired and neighbor Juana Elias says she heard it all. You can see evidence markers littered across the ground at the crime scene. These offenders likely thought that the victims were rival gang members. Police say no one in that family has ties to any gang. Their preliminary investigation shows three to four males believed to be late teens to early 20s came up to the family allegedly shouting gang slogans right before opening fire. We believe that's an effort to identify if the victims in this case were in fact gang members themselves, which they were not. Officials say gangs have long been prevalent in the area and extra patrols have been in place to address it. This didn't happen overnight, but what we have to do is stand up and say that this is not normal. Relatives of the victim say he's just a young man who loves to watch wrestling and always appears to be happy. The family's landlord tells us it runs in the family. Buena persona. Para mí, buena persona. Leo ya tienen 14 años. Now, a young man who didn't do anything wrong is fighting for his life after what police are calling a tragic incident. Neighbors are begging for a stop to the violence. Now, police say the suspects fled northbound on Walcott after the shooting. No arrests have been announced. They say Area 1 detectives are investigating again, asking anyone with information to come forward. You can do that by calling Area 1 detectives or going online to cpdtip.com and submitting one anonymously. Live tonight outside of Stroger Hospital, Courtney Spinelli, WGN News.